Okay, folks, welcome back. This is Ken, and uh, we're jumping right back into the action where we left off last time. We're on Nantucket Shoals aboard the KDB with Captain Gordy Campbell, and we're catching big fish, and the action is great, and you're going to see a whole lot of fish get caught, and uh, my first video, I was fishing heavy which you still see here uh, using my CalStar and the um, Ancient Mariner 6000 loaded up with uh, 30 pound Power Pro and I'm fishing that double spoon rig which I did very well with but uh, the conditions change and um, you see the fish just coming up here one after the other pretty much at the moment pretty wild um, so you're going to see me changing up my style in just a little bit. So just keep watching for it and keep watching the fish come aboard. Oh, that's that's, that's good, a good one. Fish, Pete. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but you can't tell it. No. No. That's it. Thanks. It's coming up too easy. I never caught a keeper with this ball. Oh, see, it popped again. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna is put, the, I'm gonna is the rod not snipping up the No, no, no. Hook? I want to change the hook yeah, and maybe put a uh, back. Ken's going to get him. Oh, see that? Where you get losing them on the should top? Should I put one? a? Should I put? Yeah, I'm putting a fish. Should I put a bigger hook on? And that's that's all I do. Oh, six, seven, odd. No, I'm just gonna let them swallow a little. You, little, little, you, little, 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 you almost gotta let them. I, I, I really want to catch one with the fish. Yeah. With the macro. With the macro. Oh, you know, it's. Uh, You know it's challenging because I don't. I, I, these these hooks I'm using don't have the back hooks on them because I like to challenge myself. <laughs> what? No, the I don't hook. <laughs> To make it more size. Oh, baby. Oh, that's another big one. Yeah, you go. did it again. Yeah, nice get this whole video, Ken. I get, yeah, I get, get to bend in that too, rod. Kenny, you got to look this way, too. <laughs> you bend in that rod. Kenny, look at you bend in that rod. I'm looking at your bend. I see oh, your bend. Shit, I it. Feel my uh, bend, Kenny. <laughs> Come here and feel my bend. Man, it was a good fish. It's not like the other one. It got smaller, yeah. We worked the best. Yeah, we worked the best. Drop the key. Yeah. This looks pretty good, huh? Nice. Nice, Rich. Oh, you were dope. You're getting cray cray now, son. That might be, that might be So there was another nice fish for Rich, and uh, here comes another one for Pete. And I just wanted to make a quick uh, mention that I already made the switch uh, from my rig that I was fishing through the whole first half of the trip, which was my high-low 3-inch spoon rig. I switched it up uh, off-camera, and um, I'm now fishing... A large size I believe it's a six inch m3 tackle kw max spoon uh, which we developed last year together uh, a Dean Baranowski at m3 tackle and I 
um, texting back and forth. I told her about my Nantucket trip with Gordy. He was jigging the Tinker Mackerel for us. And uh, I thought to myself, wow, what a great idea that might be to have a fluke spoon with the Tinker Mackerel pattern on it to kind of match the hatch in this neighborhood. So uh, that's exciting. I'm trying for a bigger fish. Unfortunately, I didn't get a bigger fish with it this time. But in a couple weeks when I come back, I expect that the fluke will really be keyed into the Tinker Max and it should work wonders. I'm going to definitely give it another shot. Here is uh, Jovan Hawkins, or Hawk for short. Um, he's got his best fish of the trip on right now, and it's not much lighter than my own uh, best on this trip. It's uh, just shy of the 10 pound mark, or right around 10 pounds. Um, Nicely done, brother. Nicely and done. Yeah, great job. Okay, so uh, gonna keep it rolling, and here you see I made the switch to my spinning outfit, and uh, that is a Bull Bay 7 foot 6, 8 to 17 pound test real animals model spinning rod. And I've got a Shimano Stratic on there, and it's spooled up with 15 pound Power Pro Slick 8. And I've got a two ounce uh, ball jig with a swinging hook. I've got a, a pink and glow skirt from uh, Jigging World adorning that ball jig and uh, a 7 0 octopus gamagatsu and that's dressed up with a pink shine six inch swimming mullet gulp and uh i have a backwater baits white and glow quarter ounce poison tail above that and i'm gonna pick a few fluke on that right now too Spinner? You busted out the spinner? Yeah, I felt like trying to get one on the spinner. Hey, why not? Try everything. Everybody's jigging. More or less. My uh, swinging for the fence. My, my uh, world record rig wasn't working there, so. Okay, folks, so uh, that's about it for part two of the Nantucket Shoals Monster Fluke with Captain Gordy aboard the KDB. And uh, we will return shortly with part three, the conclusion of this series where you'll see me switch up my style once again to a light slow pitch jigging rod bait cast combo using uh, backwater baits 
three ounce bucktail and a backwater baits quarter ounce poison tail jig uh, both of course adorned with the six inch gulp swimming mullets um, so yeah I'm really really psyched about uh, getting up there next time and fishing more of my larger M3 tackle KW Max spoons. Uh, I expect that uh, in early July when I'm up there again, the uh, Tinker Mackerel bite will really be full on, and I'm going to be looking to live line them and even uh, fish dead ones on there. Doesn't matter. I'm hoping, I'm expecting big fish, hoping for big fish. And it should really be a blast. So uh, thanks again for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you like these videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.